Hello, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to We Will You segment. I'm your host, Sheree, where we focus on encouraging our youth. And here we have a very talented young woman that is doing so much in the community that goes by the name of Gavanya Manning. <laughs> Welcome, Gavanya. Thank you. Okay, I did pronounce that right, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. Well, you're just doing so much, and I see here that your vision for the company you have is that your agency is culturally and socially responsive agency striving to develop healthy young men and women. Your goal is to lessen the dropout and left behind school rate while at the same time promote healthy relationships within the home and the community. Yes. Wow. Sound like you're doing some good stuff. We good try. stuff. Yeah, we try. Amen. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about you. Well, I'm married to Dwayne Manning. We have four kids. Okay. Ages 21 to 3. Oh, wow. And we have two that's in college. Okay. And I'm also, I'm a native of Mattston and Longburg. Okay. And so I have family in both places. And I've been an entrepreneur since 2002. Just wow. working on different things with a vision of one day just being successful. Okay. And at the t same time, trying to give back to the community. Right. Awesome. Awesome. So when did you decide that you wanted to start this business? And was it hard getting off the ground? Well, I'm not going to say it was hard, but at the same time, it wasn't easy. Okay. But... When God is in it, you're right. always making it. And one of the things that I did before we started out, I prayed about it. Right. And yeah. I just asked God to lead me and give me everything that I needed to right. get what I, where we needed to go. And through that, the doors just started opening. We didn't have a lot of people that wanted to back us because it was like, y'all young. And, you know, you need to keep your job and things like that. But... I seen the bigger vision. I wasn't looking at through the natural eye. I was looking through a spiritual right. eye. And I wasn't looking at it as just being a business. I was looking at it from a ministry standpoint at the people that I can reach through the business on a spiritual sense. Amen. Amen. And where is this office located? We're located at 213 West Cronley Street in Lomberg, right beside the Lomberg Exchange. Okay. And what are your um, hours of operation? Our office is open Monday through Friday from the hours of 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And okay. our after school program is open, which is the Hype Center. It's open from 2 o'clock until 5 o'clock okay. during the school year. Okay. But we also offer a summer camp when school is out and okay. the hours are from 10 to 2, okay. Monday through Thursday. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're going to get more into that later. But tell us about the different programs that you offer. Our different programs, we offer different things. Like we're a linking agency that link adults and children to different medical and mental health services. Okay. Like if they need, we have some clients that come in that might need assistance with the doctor. Some have Medicaid, some don't. So we link them to doctors that do have like sliding fees if they don't right. have insurance okay. and Medicaid. Awesome. And we assist them with finding those connections and helping get that financial part taken for they can see the doctor because we have some that haven't had physicals in five to ten years because of no health insurance. Right. So we try to link them to the different doctors that will work with them on a payment plan. We have the mental health side which we do outpatient therapy. Okay. We link clients to intensive in home, CST, case management, whatever service that they need within the family. We have parent advocates that come in to do parenting trainings. Okay. We do all the different aspects and we offer assistance with the GED and high school program. Okay. Where we're assisting our young people. We have a high dropout rate and between the ages of 16 and 25 and what we're doing, mm -hmm. we're trying to grab the ones because we're teaching them that education is a key and most jobs won't even hire you now unless you have at least a high school diploma or GED. Right. So we're assisting and trying to get more of our younger people that have dropped out of school, trying to get them back in school. Okay, wow, awesome, awesome. And so let's talk about the after school mentoring program. Well, it's called the Hype Youth Center, okay. and Hype stands for Helping Young People at Sale. Okay. And we work with all the schools in Scotland County, and we work with schools in Robertson County. Now we have some coming from Maxton, from Townsend, and Arbadine that come over. And exactly what we do, we have a mentoring program. We have a big brother, big sister. 
okay. program in there. We do, we have some, we do behavior management, we do socialization skills, we do communication skills because one thing that we've seen with our kids that one of the problems is um, they're having in school is the communication and when you're in a class where you got 25 kids and one or two teachers right. it's hard for them to get the responses that they need so what we work on them with is communicating and the socialization skills where they're able to get along with their peers okay. and our behavior management techniques where we have some that may have troubles and issues in school with getting along with the classmates even with the teachers we okay. we even go out to the schools and check on them at least once a week okay. making sure like once that we're having problems with making sure that they're not having problems in class we're speaking with the principals and the counselors just helping the parents where right. some of our parents don't have transportation and they can't go we're trying to fill in the gap wow so you're definitely hands-on yes wow I like that okay and is there any type your age range from we do from pre-k to 12th grade okay. for our hype center okay and so and even like during the summer we had them up to 21 that came to the um, youth center and what we did because we was assisting them with getting their GEDs or diplomas and we was pairing them up with like our younger ones doing the big sister big um, brother program because mm -hmm. it was teaching some of our older ones Mm -hmm. how to even deal with the younger ones because some of them have siblings in the program and they was having you know issues different issues with each other but through our program we was reunifying the family right okay and I want to talk elaborate more on that as well because you deal with the parents yes now on what level do you deal with the parents as well, well is, it we pro is it programs for the parents if needed well we do once a month we have a parents in class that we have someone from the LME out of Cumberland County she's a parent advocate she comes in once a month and she does a parents in class for us for any and it's free for anyone that would like to come in and we also work with the parents as far as if the parents are having we do family counseling okay we do like if the parents is we assist the parents with going to the schools they have different meetings and stuff with the teachers and the principals and they have like the EIP and the CFT meetings we go as far as assisting them with that and making sure that their questions are being answered as if something they're not understanding with the school system we walk with them through the whole process and making sure that anything that they're unclear about that we're able to assist them in getting the right response and answers that they need. Right, okay. And EIP and TIP? CFT. CFT, what it stands for. The EIP, those are like, we have like some that have behavior. Those are for the behavior students. Okay. And so when they're having behavior issues like the CFT is the child family team meeting. Okay. Where they're meeting with the teachers and the principals and the behavior um, resource people from the Board of Education. So when you're meeting with them, we try to assist the parents in those meetings because when the parents go in them alone, some things they may not understand. Okay. And some things they're explaining to them, they might not get right then. So therefore, what we do, we assist them in making sure that they're understanding what's going on with their child while they're right. in school. Okay. If they're having any behaviors, what behaviors they're having and what can we do to help meet their needs. As a whole, we work with the school to see what the school need help with okay. what they need help with at home and if they come to our center we all working together in a collaborative effort okay. to make sure we're meeting the needs for the child can meet their goals right and how long does the length of the program for a specific child each child each child can be in the program until they want to discharge. It's no okay. specific cutoff. Okay. We even if they meet their goals, we also at the end of their goals, if we set three goals for them and they meet them, we set new goals. Okay. Because it's about them bettering themselves and educating them. Even if their goal is just to make it to the next grade, for they won't repeat that grade, we're gonna assist them until the end of the school year. Even over the summer with our summer camp, the ones that struggled during the school year. We still work with them on school work, preparing them for the following year. Okay. So it's not a time limit and they can't time out of the program. Certain programs that's through like DSS or through the mental health, okay. it do have time limits on it. But as far as the hype center, okay. it's no time limit. Okay. Is there a certain type of criteria they have to meet in order to be approved into the program? No, it's not, not for the hype center. For the okay. hype center, it's open to anyone. Okay. 
Okay. And wow. we're just trying to give back. And it's right. like, we have a lot of underprivileged, like, well, maybe they can't afford to pay for tutoring. Okay. They can't afford, like, the things Park and Rec is not free anymore. So different things that they may not usually right. be able to afford. Right, right. We're providing it where it's no cost. Hey, Amen. You hear that? All right. That is awesome. So... Tell us, what is the registration process? We have, the. you can come to the office. We have, they can do self-referrals, like through the parents. They can bring their own kids and refer them in themselves. We have the different schools that have referral forms. There's Scotland County and Robinson County where you can be referred over to the hype center through referral from the school dss can refer them any adult can refer any child to the hype center and once they get a referral in they will come in and do a client information form okay. and based on the client information form and the needs that they need if we can meet their needs we accept them okay wow and i see you also offer dance step karate self-awareness um, leisure, of course, recreation. Um, you schedule outings also. Yes. That's awesome. Um, cultural enrichment, community outreach, community activities, health and fitness, which of yes. course is very important. Communication skills, conflict resolution, anger management, skills development, family counseling, of course, we talked earlier, individual counseling, coping skills, mentoring, yes. okay, and computer applications. That's, yes. that's awesome. That's knowledgeable, very knowledgeable. We need in the world where computers is taking over. Yes. <laughs> it's good to, to know a little bit about computers and then the GED tutorial. tutorial. Yes. Okay, awesome. So you also deal with some elderly and offer some disabled assistance. Yeah, so what we do as far as like the elderly and disabled, we do once a month, we feed the elderly and disabled. We have the kids that's in the Hype Youth Center. We take them out. We're teaching them about giving back and about helping. So we take them out. We fix dinners and we take them out and let them pass them out to the elderly and disabled. We do it once a month. Awesome. And we also, we assist them like if they need assistance with filling out paperwork or anything Thing like that for DSS, social security or disability, we offer that service for them at the office free of charge. Wow, awesome. Okay, so tell us again your, um, we'll come back to that. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with Javon and Manny. Hello, welcome back to We Will You segment. I'm your host Sheree where we focus on encouraging our youth and we have a special woman here if you missed it earlier um, she goes by the name of Javonna Manning and she's doing so many great things in the community and she has this program called Hype which is, in t is, in co is called Helping Young People Excel and yes. girl I must tell you <laughs> oh my god it's just it's awesome to see our people stepping up and becoming making a creating a tunnel so that we can have other people's voices be heard. Yeah. You know, I mean that is awesome. And so talk about actually some of the things that you do at the summer camp with the kids, um, which involves what type of activities? Well, like this past summer, the different things we do, we do different activities. We have someone that come in and do like karate class with them. And that does help with their behavior management because it teach them how to control their temple. Right. We have different ones that come in and work with them on dance. Like we have some that we have a group that do step. We have a group that do praise dance. We try to do anything that the kids, we ask for their input, things that they normally Normally don't do that they would like to do we bring people in to teach them one of the things over the summer we did different hours we took them to the water park we do things though where some of the kids may not usually even leave out of Lomberg or out of Madison they was able to go to different places to the water park some have never been right. so it was one of the things that we've done for them this year we're taking this summer we're taking them to the back to the water park and we're taking our teenagers to Virginia the King's Dominion. Oh, so we're just awesome. doing different things right. like just to show them but we want to take them I don't know if Carolina to show them you can have fun and not get in trouble. Right. It's still things you can do in a positive way right. and part of our program to stay part of our program the behavior management skills we teach you have to go by them. 
you got to stay out of trouble. That's the only thing right. we require. Is you staying out of trouble. We're talking to no drugs. You know, we're practicing abstinence. Even okay, though, you know, awesome, we're trying right. to teach our young girls right. and our young men. Because we have to teach them both. Because it takes both of them. That abstinence is the key. Because right. of the... We did um, classes on teen pregnancy and STDs, different things. We want to awesome. educate our people awesome. and let them know that it's okay to wait. Right. Amen. You don't have to make the mistakes that your parents, your aunts, your cousins, grandparents, any mistake that we've made, you don't have to go right. down that road. Right. And you can wait because if we teach them abstinence, we'll have a better high school completion rate. Right. Well, our graduation class will be bigger. Right. If we teach them to wait because they don't have to drop out of school because they have a baby. Right. Or they won't get, we teaching them about staying clean, staying away from drugs. They can't use drugs. They can't sell drugs. They can't have do anything illegal if they're in the program. Right, right. Those are the only requirements we have that okay. you got to stay clean. Right. Because if we teach them that, we think their education will be more important to them. Right. And we teach them about, you know, changing your surroundings. If your friends right. are negative, then we teach them how to build positive relationships. Okay. We try to teach them away from the girls. We we're teaching them to hang with the girls, the ones that are Focus on their schoolwork. The ones that's not focusing on the boyfriends right. and stuff like that. If we can right. change that around, then we can change the mindset. If we can teach our guys that, okay, we don't want to be with the crowd that want to game bang or want to thug. We want you right. to be that our next president. We need another Obama. Amen. We need someone to stand up. We we're raising our future doctors, our future lawyers, our future right. senators, our future governors. These right. are what we're trying to raise, and so it take a collaborative effort. My grandmother always told me it take a village to raise kids. Right. So therefore, when you have a high rate of single parents, we need each other to survive. Right. Amen. And in order for us to make it and to get to the place we need to go, it takes more than just the parents. It takes more than just the teachers. Right. It takes the church as a whole. Right. We got to start coming from behind the walls, out of the church pews, and right. start coming out and reaching our young Girl, people. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's I mean, awesome. You're that's speaking right. Things. Because right. we think it's a, a lot of people say, well, bring them to church, bring them to church. Well, some of them right. never go to church. Some of the parents don't go to church. So we're going to be the only God they're going to see. Right. And if we're going to be the only God they're going to see, then what are we going to show them? Right. So we got to be that light in the midst of darkness. Amen. We got to be all of that to them. And if we're being an example for them, if we just save one mm -hmm. out of 50. Then our job is done. Right. We might can't save any everybody, right. but if we can just reach them, if we can change the mindset, I believe that we can change things in Scotland County and Robinson County. Amen. And those are the two counties. That's the two it. counties that okay. we're working with right now, but we're looking to expand. expand. We're okay. trying to matter. We have a meeting tomorrow in Charlotte. We're getting ready to expand to awesome. Charlotte. We're expanding to Raleigh. We have a meeting there next week. We're going to different areas. We're even trying to go to South Carolina. Okay. So, we want to do different things just to show them that we're taking them back one city at a time. Amen. So, Amen. and we want to show them that it's more to life. Because if we don't show them that they can be somebody. Right. The they never make will. it. Right. We're their first example because... They're with, when you look at it, our kids are in school more than they're anywhere else. Right. When they're in school all day, they have different examples, different students that right. we, we can't go to school and sit in class with them. Right. So, whatever other kids is bringing to school, they're getting this. Right. And because they're getting these different things that the other ones are bringing, we got to come even harder. Exactly. So if they're only at my center for two hours, that means I got to put two hours of knowledge into them. <laughs> right. Because they started school all day and I don't know what they've got. Right. So therefore, because of maybe they got some negativity or whatever, we right. have to redirect all of that energy and that behavior. Right. right. With peer pressure. Yes. And whatnot. Oh, wow. Girl, I love it. <laughs> this is awesome. And the orders of operation is Monday through Friday from the hours of 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're located at 213 West Cronley Street, right beside the Lomberg Exchange. Our telephone number is 910-277-0888. Again, the number is 910-277-0888.
Wow. Girl. <laughs> and you also have a testimony of your own. Yes. About what directed you into starting this. Well, it's just program. like when I look back from where I came from and when you come from not having much until when you're seeing outside of the box. Some people can, don't look outside of the box. Mm. But I was looking at my surroundings and I wanted more. And I began to pray to God and say, God, it got to be more because I know the things that he has in me. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we bottle up things. We don't go after our dreams. We don't go after, you know, the visions that God give us. We'll let it, we're sitting on the shelf or we won't do it because we're focusing on just working a regular nine to five or mm -hmm. doing what everybody else right. wants us to do. But when God give you a vision and right. I tell everybody all the time, if God give you a vision, you work on it. Right. Amen. If God give you something to do, the Bible say your gifts will make room, room for you. Amen. So, and if he put a gift in you, I encourage every young person, every middle-aged person, every elder person, if he gave you a gift, work your gift. Amen. I promise you, it might not seem like it at the beginning, but it'll pay off because in the midst of everything, always being one that always did for everybody else. Right. always going and doing for everyone else okay. and then when God began to deal with me about working my own gifts and doing what he required me I'm telling he's beginning to, doors are opening right. he's making room for my gifts right. and just different things that I wanted to do we have a play that we're getting ready to do right. which called I almost lost my mind okay. but God right. and so that's one of the plays that I wrote we have to look out for that so one that's a <laughs> new post yes. And we're going to be doing it here in the area. And we're okay. going to keep you posted on that. But it's just... And it's dealing with the family dynamics and different issues that's going on today in the families that people are not discussing. And some of us are almost losing our minds. Right, right. But when we can say, I almost lost my mind, but oh, God. God. Amen. Then we're actually doing <laughs> something. And it makes a difference when you say, but God. Amen. Because out of everything that we go through, the battles that I've even had to battle personally, even through battling that, mm -hmm. when I can say I almost lost it, but God, oh, God. then that alone is a testimony. Girl, we about to start. Mm -mm. So. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Girl, are you talking right? I love it. Wow. <laughs> wow, God is doing so many great things in you, and I'm glad yes. that you are allowing God to use you and yes. manifest and encourage not only just our young people, but even the people around you and even some of our elderly folks and people in other high places, you know, yes. because we can never be, we can never get encouraged enough from yes. one another. Wow. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let everybody know once again where they can sign up, where they can call. What time they can come down. Oh, let them know. <laughs> We're Manic Consultants. We're located at 213 West Cronley Street, right beside the Lomberg Exchange in Lomberg, North Carolina. The phone number is 910-277-0888. Again, the number is 910-277-0888. All right. All right, young people. If you're struggling and you need that extra help, encouragement, boost, boost, in life and in Christ, definitely come down and sign up. You won't be disappointed. Have a good night, everybody. Love you all.